um, not in this workshop, but in other workshops, you said whenever we put, uh, we work with bones, whatever we put into the bone, it stays with the bone. And whatever we put into the tissue, it, because of its elasticity, it may go back to the old pattern unless we pattern a lot. What about with ligaments? Is, is it the same way after you... Yeah, well, let me just say a little bit because we, to interpret what I am going to interpret is that when we repattern bone, <clears throat> let's say there's been a bone break in the trabecula, removing it, that pretty much will stay there. And that comes back to, uh, Angela, your question about bone changing. It actually can change quite quickly. We think of bone as being kind of, it can also last for several million of years under certain circumstances. But if you, like in fascia in particular, <coughs> fascia has a lot of elasticity, bless you, or muscle, that we can lengthen and the next day it could be back again. This, it just has more rebound. That bone itself can change easily, but it doesn't necessarily, it pretty much likes to be connected. And um, ligaments fall somewhere in between. Once you feel the spatialness of something, you can come back to it. You might forget it, but it's there to come back to. The same thing with muscles. When you when you find the interfusals, interfusal fibers, then it, it's there easily accessible. But if you don't, it, go, it pops back. But when you get to that which re knows where it is, mm -hmm. then and we're not going so much by calling their, their different receptors in the, the ligaments, but as you break in those receptors, then they'll pretty much be there for you. But you have to keep <coughs> reminding.